the Amazon is burning. The headline, this is, this is literally a CNN headline. The Amazon is burning because the world eats too much meat. Too much meat? Yeah, it turns out that this is why the vast majority of the deforestation that's been happening in the Amazon for the last 50 years has been going on. And now Bolsonaro is, is you know, speeding this process up. Uh, keep in mind, the Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the planet's oxygen. Without oxygen, we don't do real well, right, as human beings. I mean, we can take a small reduction in oxygen levels, but not a whole bunch. So, well, here's what CNN says. So for those wondering how they could help save the rainforest, known as the planet's lungs, for producing about 20% of the world's oxygen, the answer may be simple. Eat less meat. Now, the finance minister of Finland actually called for this. Finland. He's asking the, the European Union to, quote, urgently review the possibility of banning Brazilian beef imports. Uh, it turns out that Brazil is the largest in the world, right? We've got a lot of cattle in the United States. I mean, it's, uh, there's, there's more cows than there are people in the United States. And yet, Brazil is the largest exporter of beef in the world. In fact, they provide 20% of the entire planet's beef exports. This one country, Brazil. And, and you know, burning down the Amazon, what they do is they, they, they burn down the trees, burn out the forest, uh, allow grass to regrow, and then they, then they graze cattle on it. And this is premium beef because it's, quote, grass-fed. You can, you can get a lot higher price for, for grass-fed beef, particularly in Japan, interestingly enough. So, uh, you know, so this, you know, by the way, the, the principal export, 44% of Brazil's exports are going to China and Hong Kong, which, you know, kind of adds to the complexity of the issue. Um, so, so, so we start out with this, okay, you know, Finland <laughs> and CNN and the UN, uh, the UN, you know, this, this most recent thing that came out of the IPCC are all saying, are all pointing at beef. Uh, meat production in general, beef in particular, as being a principal cause or principal source of greenhouse gases, both through de deforestation and the intensive agricultural methods that produce enormous amounts of methane. Meanwhile, over in the New York Times, and this ties into the beef, more than a, th this uh, piece, the, the article by Darish Musarafan and Dan Glickman, our food is killing too many of us. They say more than 100 million adults, almost half the entire adult population, have prediabetes or diabetes. Cardiovascular disease afflicts about 122 million people, causes 840,000 deaths every year. So this is, you know, heart and blood vessel disease is killing 2,300 Americans a day. Three in four of us are overweight or obese. And they identified just 10 dietary factors that are estimated to cause over a thousand deaths a day from heart disease, stroke, and diabetes alone. And at the top of this list, consuming meat. Cardiovascular disease costs us $351 billion a year in healthcare spending and lost productivity. Diabetes costs us $327 billion a year. The total cost of the obesity epidemic in the United States is estimated at $1.7 trillion a year. That's almost 10% of our entire GDP. Is, is going to deal with or, uh, both the healthcare costs and the lost productivity costs associated with the obesity epidemic in the United States. And meanwhile, we learned this, this uh, uh, remarkable study from Scientific American, and I quote, you would have to eat twice as much broccoli today to get the same nutrients as a generation ago. This is from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, quote, the level of every nutrient in almost every kind of food has fallen between 10 and 100% since 1975. An individual today would need to consume twice as much meat, three times as much fruit, and four to five times as many vegetables to obtain the same amount of minerals and trace elements available in those same foods in 1940. What's causing this? The use of what are called biocides, pesticides, antibiotics, fungicides, insecticides, has killed basically has killed our soil microorganisms and thus as a consequence our soil is dead and those microorganisms help plants absorb these minerals it's crazy